Okay, we're going back down to the legs now. Um, quite good definition in them already. Uh, what we need to do now is add some detail, really. So um, we've got a cloven hoofed character. So we're going to have to split his hooves. I'm going to do that with a split. First of all. Once we've split it, there's a number of things we can do, but I'll split it first and show you. Okay. So what we'll do is actually pull. back like so and we're going to extrude inwards so first of all I'm going to correct that and make that into a quad and then I'm just going to extrude down like so with the extrude command and then go in and move it all by hand until it's where we need it to be. That's a nasty little polygon there, but we are going to be making it very small by moving this in, like so. And then check underneath what it looks like. And we will have to check this in sub D mode. fine giving us a nice cloven hoof not far enough back though and uh, I suppose that gives us an indication of this nasty polygon here so we'll close that gap up slightly and run a nice split around the back of it that will help and one around the front which will definitely help I'm gonna let me go that way a little bit okay the easiest way to do that is run a split I'm just checking where it will go so I'll run it to there underneath and back up Okay, we've run a split all the way through there. It's going to give us crisper edges around here. And I'm going to want another one. But I don't want this to split all the way up. So I'm only going to run it to the ankle or to the calf and then run that one back up here, split from back to front there. Bit of a smooth looking for opportunities all the time looking where to split what the effect of the split will be do we want polygons where that splits gonna be and the answer is yes to pretty much all of those so Next one is a split all the way up this inner leg here. So 
which goes across the front here, around here, up the side and up to here and it will actually go all the way up into here which up to here so I want it from there into there so we select that one and select that one like so all the way around the front absolutely fine split it it's great into the corner there and that's now fixed that funny little polygon there it's left us with a triangle there which we'll quickly remove like so gives us quads all the way around there as a benefit Obviously we weren't doing it for that, but that is a benefit. While we're on that portion of the the model, I'll just run a split close into that thigh and smooth it. And that gives me yeah, a nice crease in there. And the next one we're looking at is to split down this muscle here. So if I quickly move everything over, we've got a triangle there, which if I go like that, select from there all the way up, if I remember rightly, we had a triangle there. So. see all the way down split exactly where we want it and it cleans up something for us at the top which is exactly why I don't worry too much about a lot of the odd triangles that are left lying around because there's lots of opportunities down the, the pipeline to, to correct them when you're looking to add more polygons that's bad there, I didn't notice that so we'll move that in always keep looking for opportunities to improve the model even when you're not working on that particular area this thigh needs more volume here you notice I'm still doing that selecting the loop and splitting which is again force of habit very much about me seeing that loop all the way around um, once you get into the swing of things you can just use the edge split from the edge but again old habits die hard just smooth that muscle out a little bit and I was going to fix this one wasn't I which comes in here. This is going to be the buttock area. So we will be coming back and doing a bit of work on this. Give him some nice glutes when we uh, when we can. But at the moment just fixing some of these nasty polygons. I think we're going to need some Polygon magic in here. So split that one again all the way around. Fine. Looking round making sure all my muscles have got nice chunky volume almost time to have a look at it in sub D I think and correct some of these little areas while we're doing it let's 
smooth great but it does take out that volume so as long as you're selective with it let's use soft selection now that gives you the volume evenly back so for every bit of damage you cause with one tool you can correct it with something else and let's smooth it and have a look at it smooth so let's give the the calf some volume at the back sideways get the hoof in the right sort of position which I think it is there let's increase that and just pull these feet forward a bit like so just double check that yeah that looks good and then move it slightly outward let's have a look at him side on so we're hitting space bar having a quick look now you can actually select all these points along here turn off soft selection and you could numerically set all of those to zero on Y which is vertical to make sure the feet are completely flat or you can just do that which is just scaling and that does an approximation of it flattens the feet out for you basically um, let's go back to soft selection just look how much this influence we've got and then let's give this uh, give this thigh some real meat now so we'll make it nice and chunky. We haven't actually cut any muscle definition into that thigh yet. But what I'm after now is great big protruding thigh muscles. Almost Schwarzenegger like thighs. Uh, might as well give him a bit of butt volume as well. Again I'm checking out the reference now. When you're doing point by point modeling, you'd be look, you'd be working over a reference all the time, as I've said numerous times. But here, we're, what we're doing, it's all about um, hand to eye. So you're seeing it over in the corner, and you're just trying to match it by hand. Nice big calves, a creature like this. And then thin ankles, because he likes tap dancing, maybe. I don't know. Tap dancing, mine at all. There we go. Nice bit of volume. Okay. We'll do some splitting again now. So turn off soft selection split all the way up there and smooth again you lose some of that volume you just work so hard to get well that's okay as we know we can put it back and we're putting more polygons in the right place we want a crease over the top of this knee now so I'm going to put in a split all the way around I want it tight in at the back there, so it gives us a crease at the back. But then I want to bring it down the front and put the the crease over the uh, front of the patella there. And by crease, I mean whenever you put a line of edges against another line of edges, you'll see that that's how you can create a crease. And then here it will be the crease just above the patella. We can even tuck that one in to give us a bit more shadow under the underneath the patella as well. Okay. 
that's fine. And that will uh, suffice for now on the legs, I think. Just checking it roughly before I finish. Seeing if there's any opportunities just to put any odd splits through before we move on to another part of the, the anatomy. And actually, now I've looked at that car, I think it needs a split through there first. I think I was okay to do that. Okay, that's looking fine. Okay, on to our next section. <laughs>